no questions, then I would be asking some question. Okay, now tell me, uh, like, what are the some pop, like the tools or things of the DevOps? Uh, like all the tools which you have seen just now. Mm -hmm. Get like, two of them. Yeah, uh, Git, Jenkins, Docker, okay. then Puppet, then uh, Nagio, Selenium. Okay. Now, so what, like, and now what did you understand? Like, what do you think? What is DevOps? What, what, what is your understanding about the DevOps? So, like, uh, basically, when a developer creates a code, uh, like for a chunk of code, so that is sent to a version control system, like that is Git, GitHub. Then from there, uh, it goes for continuous integration, like it will go to the production uh, server and the testing server. So, from the testing server, there uh, we'll have uh, like uh, the Selenium. It will go through the code and uh, it will like do the testing part and the same done is done in the like not in the production so from production anyway it will go directly to the customer end well the uh, after that yeah it goes for monitoring like once the code is in production it goes for monitoring right so basically what uh here uh, you can say like in a simpler terms and to keep it short that uh that the, as per the understand my understanding or as per the things so it is basically just the approach or DevOps is a process or a culture which uh, helps us to bridge the gap or the efforts of the their different development and operation team so that we can accelerate or we can basically increase the uh, software development uh, li lives or software delivery faster okay with a uh, reduced failure with a reduced downtime and everything we can add on there so you can or you can say or in a more simple thing where at the development and operation engineers they basically work together and do the things from the uh, stage one or the from the design stage until the deployment stage to make sure that there should be minimal failure rate minimal uh, uh downtime is there the cost is reduced customer feedbacks are more frequent updates are frequent accordingly and just end it up here so in a two liner you have explained that okay what is devops what are the benefits of devops and uh what does it basically do Okay. Now, uh, until now, we studied about DevOps also. We talked about Agile also. So, what do you guys think that what would be the difference between those two Agile model and DevOps model? Uh, Agile, mostly we have uh, like set of teams for to work on something like for implementation, for uh, requirement, then for deployment, for testing. We have different different set of teams but when it comes to devops so we have like tools doing that right for us so we need only development and operations team which can do the whole set of work correct yes so definitely there is like as you said that there is a different like devops continuous uh development team testing team and all those things would be there similarly this is it now apart from that the one basic difference is there is devops bridges the gap between the development and operation whereas the agile it bridges the gap between the developers and customers it bridges the gaps of the conflict between the developers and customers or the client whereas devops bridges the gap between the development and operations now how it bridges the gap between customers and developers because customer feedback is there right every time so that, that there are huge chances where the or the uh there are the uh, scenarios where like basically i would say not a m m conflict but there are a lot of disagreements happen between the development and the customer team so based on that uh we have to make sure that we can mention this point that how development and operations are uh like putting up together or bridging up the gaps so, so filling up the gaps so similarly there also it is happening between the customer and development okay so okay now okay so uh, i i would we asking the last question here and after that like we will not uh, extend the session further git we will start there so because just wanted today we will be having this De devops introduction putting up this now the last question so i would need the answer first from akhil and then i would need the answer from uh, manika the first uh, the question is like let's say that you have to approach a particular project okay which needs to implement devops so what would be your approach what what do you think what are the what would be normal like the basic approach uh, which you would be following up for the same i think in the question i mean uh, i'm a client or a you, you you are the 
you are the team who has to implement who has to implement the devops in your team how you are going to implement the devops in your project by other loader explain me like what 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 are the different stages which you have to which has to be followed by you these are the like the questions why am i am asking these all set of questions because these are some set of questions and the things which is a very basic step sometimes being asked in the interviews and all so these are the questions only which going to be help you like i'm not going to give you something separately that okay these are the things according to the topic wise i would be asking you a few stuff and all which is going to help you so whatever you guys feel like that okay this is important like you can hear back the recording again and everything is there is like keep anything handy with you like whether the word document or a if you are happy with a notebook and a pen keep handy those things and make the note of those stuff okay okay go ahead i would be using uh, then wordly it will be easy for a uh, devops proper it requires a uh, data and got gathering and uh, iteration and the uh, editing right as the the process for the devops yeah that's absolutely correct and uh, definitely good good again thank you uh manika uh, so what do you think what would be your approach uh, if i would say that okay implement uh, devops in your project or how would you follow that basically not short sure, but uh, again we are talking about customer uh, satisfaction here right with the uh, devops also that is the main focus which we do like we have customer satisfaction in our mind so i would say like uh, basically using of lean body here no no we will we will never use a lean model when we talk about devops completely because a uh, lean model is something you are doing lot uh, definitely you are eliminating lot of stress but uh, devops not says that okay you do not you should not be that much fast continuous things are there but not lean agile model will be there okay but let me define like the few of the process and the steps how we should go ahead or how we should approach now so we know that okay a particular project when it has to be uh, when we have to implement the devops and it or when we have to go back and do the things what we do basically we first of all go and assess the requirements we see that okay whatever the existing process because what we are doing here is to understand one thing guys what we are doing we are implementing a new process we are not implementing we are not like doing the migration of technology or something means if a particular project is following a waterfall model and you have to bring up a devops model means you have to bring up the agile methodology in that project so you have to first of all understand the existing process that what is the existing process and how it is being implemented now accordingly you are going to change or make the th- uh, make the plan so that that particular process can be migrated to the devops process so here we are talking about the process migration okay here we are talking about the process migration where we would be seeing that what are the ex- what is the existing process what are the uh, gaps or what are the gray areas in the existing process which can be improved further okay so that you can create a particular path for this new process once it is done then what you do you basically create a plan you create it you like first of all what you do for anything you do the poc you create a proof of concept you implement a smaller chunk you create it and like you once it is proved that okay it can be done it can be used and you have implemented it then it is like being accepted by the everyone and all and then your uh, project or then your uh, team is ready for implementing the devops or for following the devops process so the question here was pretty trick it's a tricky question it says that how would you be implementing the devops in your team okay or in your project so it's not saying that how you are like you have some de- process development process and all that how that process life cycle it's not asking it's asking if any team which is basically using any other existing process how you are going to uh use that uh, the development devops process in the this team there. so any questions guys so far okay so it's, uh, it uh, yeah so so like it goes for every process right so if we want to change from any process a uh, different process to devops so this is the only thing we need to follow right first we need to assess the situation and uh, how things are actually going right now then uh if it, there might be cases that were in some projects uh, like devops cannot be implemented yes implemented. there might be cases like that as well yeah, yeah there are banking pro- banking clients there are mainframe uh, related projects and all which are very very legacy you cannot implement that because 
you don't have those set of things or stuff which can be implemented because you have the limitation of the environment you have the limitation of the versions or uh, the legacy version which you are using which are already eol which have already like end of life cycle so th those were the challenge uh, the challenges which you would be facing there so definitely you cannot use that okay and uh, suppose like uh, we have um uh like we we took some areas from a project and we are implementing uh, devops there so at the end is it like we can only get the uat like we can get the uat done from the customers and after that we can uh, implement it in the whole project that's how right yeah that's how because like, i did like yeah on a normal basis like it we say this like we do the poc and all and then we once we get that poc is accepted like whether it's by the uat or if it is within the team so within the team if someone is approving so then we are good with it yeah okay so fine so basically just to uh, summarize the session or to conclude the things so we, we talked about we started with the uh, different uh, devops cycle and the steps at how and what do you mean by introduction to the devops what uh why do we need devops what are the different cha challenges we used to face in the traditional it approach and how those challenges are overcome by the devops or by following up the agile methodology by the scrum model which is being used by the agile again what were the things of the waterfall and lean how those three are different or how we compare them then we talked about the devops uh different processes or the different phases or the stages which we follow in the devops like we have the plan we have the build the test deploy release and all and like code and all those things and we know that okay plan code together like they make the continuous development the together all makes that continuous integration here the release and deploy makes the deployment the test makes the continuous testing and the uh, the one uh, i'm missing the other one i think build makes basically the continuous delivery so this is how it is being divided into the different different categories now based on this and based on those stuffs now what we do for that if we move ahead and then we talked about the different set of tools that okay what are the different set of tools being used for to fulfill or to implement this particular environment of this at every stage and then we realize that okay these are the different tools such as the git such as the ansible docker uh, the jenkins and like Puppet and like Nagios, so different set of tools are being used accordingly to implement this thing. Now, okay, so apart from that, then we talked about a few set of the questions, basically like a few of the very basic, like what is the need of the DevOps or what do you, what are the different things and uh, the tools which we use, and then at the end, like one is the one question related to the approach and how you can implement the DevOps in your project if you have been given a chance or. If you have to implement it, how you have to use it.